I work a full nine to five job, but want to become skilled in MMA ASAP. My routine is five times one hour sessions per week. Anything more, I feel overtrained. Is training an hour a day, five to six times per week enough? That's from Vokic. It's a good start. But here, I'll tell you, if you really want to go warp speed, you got to be thinking about martial arts all the time. If you're really serious, your body can't, listen, Think about think about your martial arts career like a race car driver. The race car, you can't race it every day. Sometimes it's got to go to the mechanic. It's got to get an oil change. That's your body. It's got to get its tires. Uh, you know, it's got to get its tires changed. Oh, the transmission is acting funny. It needs to be repaired. The body breaks down. The car breaks down. The pilot has to train every day. He's in the simulator and he's going through these scenarios and want to accelerate, want to slow down. He's training in a rainy season. He's training, okay, it's it's a different condition now. It's very windy from the east and I'm turning a curve. He's doing every scenario. The pilot, the skill work, you're always studying fights. You're always studying situations. You're always analyzing. Like I watch wrestling, boxing, jujitsu. Every day I watch something combat related, always, Okay then it starts to become like you're looking, you start seeing the same move over and over again. Now you notice, hey, that detail, that guy did it differently. Or that guy had a lot of, look, look at the way he did it. Wow, that actually makes a lot of sense. You start connecting all these dots and then you're really advanced. Okay, Because one hour a day, you're just training the body. You got to train the mind too. You got to study, 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 watch footage, watch instructionals, or whatever it is, acquire knowledge and then go out in the world and try it. And I find that that for me is what keeps me motivated. When I when I get bored, let's say some, I, I'll tell you guys something. Sometimes I'm rolling or wrestling, and I'm doing the same technique over. Like I'm I'm bored now. I'm bored. Like I'm choking the guy with the same sequence. I did it like this is my hundredth millionth time. I just did this. It's boring. I'll tell you something. A lot of times when I'm rolling, I don't even do the sub. I just like I'm too. I'm not interested in doing it. I just transition and I take the arm and. I'm like, whatever, I just, like, why? Because I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling, I'm having fun. When I, when that happens to me, what I do is I, I find a new move to work on. Like, I find a new something. Look, there's infinite amount of moves. I have to see something new, unique, a new type of way to do something. And then, oh, I'm excited. Oh, wow, like, you got a new toy to play with. And that's what motivates me. Maybe I'm trying a new kick, maybe a new sweep. I have to have seen it work. Oh, I saw maybe a really cool wrestler did like, I don't know, like a shock of some sort that I don't usually do it that way. Oh, I have a new toy to play with. That's what motivates me. That's what like gets me excited to go try something new. Not only does it keep me motivated, it makes me a better martial artist. Why? Because I come out of my comfort zone. Because if I just do the same routine, like I have moves that are tried and true that I trust with my life. And okay, when I'm if I wasn't competing, those are the moves I'm going to do. But it's boring to do the, just the same formula over and over again. It gets boring. So I add new things, and then all of a sudden, the formula is better than it was before. I have, I've adapted it. So I would tell you, do a lot of mental training. Study new things. Study, study, study. One hour a day is not enough to reach your full, full potential.